in the swamps of the southeastern United States, a school of piranhas has appeared. They move very fast. With sharp teeth, they can eat a grown man in an instant. The piranhas here are actually Chinese blackfish. The largest of them is 1,500 pounds. Their explosive power can easily overturn a small boat. They are the masters of these waters. Anyone bitten by the black fish will eventually not survive. Even the fierce alligators are their food. In one of Louisiana's tributaries, an old fisherman is fishing for his cage in the river. It's been a good day. The cage is full of fresh fish and shrimp. While he's having fun, the floating buoy on the river moved inexplicably. The experienced fisherman felt bad at once. There must be something hiding under the water and the force was very strong. Otherwise, it is impossible to pull the buoy into the water. But before he could think about it, he was dragged into the water by a mysterious creature. The old fisherman struggled desperately, but the creature was too fierce. He instantly disappeared into the lake without a trace. Soon the police found the old fisherman's body at the river. He had been torn in half, and judging from the wounds on his body, it didn't look like a crocodile bite. This immediately intrigued Agent Blackie. There were no sharks in this remote swamp. What kind of monster was it? could tear a man to pieces. In order to find out the truth, Blackie immediately took Burnett, the biologist, to the scene of the crime. They boarded a boat and headed deep into the swamp. Halfway across the swamp, they spotted traces of alligators. But when they got closer, all that was left was a head. Its body had been eaten by something. The two men instantly felt that something was wrong. Quickly increased the horsepower, continued to move forward. Just a short distance away, they saw a man suddenly emerge from the water. This instantly startled them, but on closer inspection, it turned out to be an old fisherman who was catching a big chub. They immediately asked him for information. The situation of the nearby waters, it so happened that brother had also knew. The old fisherman died in a strange way. Under Blackie's pressure, he took them to the place of the crime and told them ever since this abandoned salvage boat appeared here. Strange things have been happening around it. Curious, they immediately went to the ship to check the situation. Blackie just opened the hatch. He smelled a pungent stench. The further they went inside, the smell became stronger and stronger. Soon they found several decomposing bodies. The horrific sight instantly made Brunette, who was standing by, vomit. In addition to the gruesome corpses, they also found a huge scale. Even biologist Brunette, even biologist Brunette had never seen such a large scale. They felt they had to hurry back to report the situation. But the nervous Brunette accidentally knocked the fisherman into the water. Fortunately, he is good at water and no serious injury. But they did not notice ripples in the water on the side. Before the hack could get into the boat, he was pulled by a mysterious force. The water instantly rippled, panicked. Blackie pulled out his pistol and prepared to shoot, but in the blink of an eye, Hatter sank to the bottom of the water, only to see the blood stain the entire lake. Sensing that something was wrong, they fled immediately. They ran away in their boat. Then Blackie found Hatter's family, told everyone about his death, and warned them to get out of these dangerous waters. But a group of people didn't think so. They were fishermen. They fished for a living. Where could they go if they left the river? Then one of the fishermen noticed something moving in the water. Curious. He immediately looked under the water. Suddenly a big fish bit his head off instantly. The crowd was also in a panic. Blackie rushed to warn everyone to get out of the water. But the girl with curly hair did not listen to the advice. Jumped directly into the boat ready to leave. But before she could act, the boat was dragged away by a strange fish. She was instantly taken to the middle of the river. Before she could catch her breath, the strange fish attacked the boat. The poor girl immediately fell into the water. Then the monster fish swam quickly towards her. The critical moment, brother way decided decisively fired a shot at the monster fish, temporarily alleviated the crisis. Blackie also took the opportunity to help chase away the monster. When everyone thought it was safe and sound, the monster fish suddenly jumped up, opened its bloody mouth, and took away Brunette. This sudden accident instantly stunned the crowd. They had never seen such a fierce fish. Nervous, Blackie rushed to check the remaining boats. Unexpectedly, the black fish came back. The boat was overturned in an instant. Now they were left with only one speedboat. After waiting for a while, Blackie tried again to open the boat, but before he could stand still, the strained fish suddenly came out from under the water again. It turns out it hadn't left at all, waiting for its prey. Obviously, if they don't get rid of the fish, they cannot leave here. And in this remote place, their cell phones had no signal either. Now all the speedboats are damaged. They had no choice but to drive to the opposite side of the boathouse. The Nemo Dark Skin Girl volunteered to climb up the ropes. Everyone pinned their hopes on her. But when she was almost there, but the rope suddenly broke, luckily she reacted quickly, pulled up in time, otherwise, 
she would have become the dinner of the strange fish that she started the boathouse, but no response. After inspection, she found that the engine had rusted and deteriorated. The situation was in crisis again. Then Brother Wei decided not to sit still. He wanted to fight the monster fish head on. He took the catfish's bait and threw it into the water. And it worked. Soon the fish pounced on him. But Hunter Brother Wei is no ordinary man. A shot to its head. He killed this man-eating demon on the spot. He saw his knife fall, cut off a large piece of fish meat and threw it on the stove. On the spot to do the grilled fish. The smell is very fragrant. Caused the crowd to gulp. But before he could enjoy the delicious food, another monster fish attacked. Brother Wei, who was caught off guard, directly became its dinner. Everyone was instantly stunned by the scene before them. No one noticed. A gas can was burning on the side. Suddenly the can was like a trick or treat. Fly to the opposite side of the boathouse. Then there was a violent explosion. The dark-skinned girl in the boat was also blown into the water. Blackie saw the situation and immediately jumped into the water, launched a rescue. While the two were returning, the strange fish also found a prey, quickly swooped over. Luckily, the smart woman cut her palm with her blood to change the trajectory of the monster fish. They were also saved, but the woman was not so lucky. The horrible fish swallowed her instantly. The creature was truly fierce. It also tried to sink the boathouse. The three of them were also in a state of panic. The boathouse also gradually tilted. At that moment, a bright light appeared in the distance. A closer look turned out to be a boat. Once again, they had hope, but the group was also immediately attacked by a strange fish. The people who fell into the water tried to swim towards the boathouse, but still one person was dragged into the water. Then a man also told the truth about this monster. It turns out that these strange fish are actually black fish from China. They have been doing the genetic modification of the black fish. But there was an accident that made the black fish mutate, directly become piranhas. They came here to capture these monsters, but apparently they overestimated their strength. The black fish came up and swallowed one of their teammates. Their captain John also fell into the water. Luckily, at the critical moment, Blackie sent a flare to chase away the black fish. John also took advantage of the opportunity to get a side boat. Then the group took the boat. The group set off in the boat towards the other side of the swamp. Thinking it was all over, the persistent John didn't take them away. Instead, they followed the trail of blood on the water and continued their pursuit. Soon they found the piranha slayer. John also revealed his true face. The reason why he took them away. Because he needed bait to lure the piranhas. Blackie had no choice but to lead the way. To attract the creature, the three of them cautiously groped their way through the weeds. But they hadn't gone far. One of the hunters was attacked, instantly disappeared without a trace. Blackie immediately persuaded John to leave this dangerous place. But the persistent man did not listen. He then became the piranha's lunch. Terrified, Blackie rushed away in his speedboat. The piranhas were still in pursuit. The fierce piranhas ran the boat. Then Blackie thought of a way to destroy the piranhas. He pried open the stern and sealed the railing. Blackie was about to crash into the trunk of a tree in front of him so that the propeller can kill the piranhas. And it worked. They finally got rid of the monster. Out of this horrible swamp, however, there are actually many more. Blackfish spawning young. Hundreds of piranhas are waiting in the wings to prey on the people who come to the swamp to fish.